So hey guys, um, welcome back. This is a very different video to probably what you're used to, but today I'm on the beach as you can see. Uh, it's not looking very good, I'm not going for a swim as much as I wish I could. Um, but today I'm doing something a bit different. As you may have read from the um, title and thumbnail, uh, I've technically been hired by Mr. Beast himself to help with his charity Team C's. Uh, basically, for every dollar you um, every dollar you spend on their charity website is a pound of um, rubbish that's actually out of the ocean. So this actually can help a lot because if you haven't known, pollution is a big thing in the ocean. There's literally islands made up of it. Literally only rubbish, nothing more. So I thought, whilst I'm on the beach, uh, I'd find us something to try and do. So I'm just going to do my part here for entertainment purposes and just pick up rubbish that I find so let's get to it. Literally where I was standing I actually already found a bit of rubbish don't know if you can see that but just in there there's a uh, wrapper of some kind oh it's a slurpy cup that's that's not very good is it? Yeah. and then just over here was uh, a little recycling rubbish bin a little rubbish recycling bin isn't actually doing its job. Probably will miss something, but hopefully not. So, as you should know, rubbish is a big problem in the ocean. It's killing off the native wildlife there and everything in it, because the rubbish takes a long time to degrade. So, a thousand years, I believe it was? Yeah, scientists predict about a thousand years for it to properly degrade, but it's still not gone after that thousand years. It just gets smaller and smaller and smaller to the point where fish and other marine life just inhale it without realizing. There's almost enough plastic for every bit of um, marine life in the ocean, now, I believe is what I've seen right. So Mr. Beast has actually gone hundreds and thousands of creators to basically make videos on this subject, do something related or just talk about it. So I thought why not do my first ever vlog and do it about something that matters? Because I mean, Empires of the Undergrowth, FNAF, Roblox, that kind of thing. It's good and all, but it doesn't actually help, does it, with environmental issues. Please don't tell me there's absolutely nothing else on this beach. So a way you guys can actually help the environment is if you actually go to the Team C's um, donation board, uh, donation, donation website and actually put in money because every dollar you spend there, as I said before, is actually a pound that they take out of the ocean. So we're trying to make a gear donation expectancy of um, $30,000? Yeah, $30,000. Oh, here's something. Okay, I've got a single fly that just doesn't want to leave me alone. Uh, there's something in here. We'll have to just leave that for now. Yeah, so that stick should hopefully tell me where everything is. And uh, let's keep looking. So, yeah, if you don't want to spend money, though, on um, actually donating, you can still do your part by coming down to, an, uh, to your local beach like this and just coming and picking things up. It may be unpleasant due to the weather, but it's still... Oh, there's something. <coughs> Can't draw a little can piece. It's still, though, um, going to help the environment if you pick up pieces of rubbish and dispose of it responsibly. So another thing you can possibly do is try and use more reusable items at home. So um, not single use plastics like those single use straws, um, cups, that kind of thing. Try and find reusable ones. Uh, a tennis ball. Come on now, doll. Pick it up, it'll probably do something to a turtle or something. But uh, yeah, what are they doing? So you dispose of it responsibly, you get things that can be used more than one time and are recyclable. Oh, I almost missed something. Uh, air freshener piece of bag that you get in those like things. Uh, anyway, you can donate, you can clean up rubbish off your ocean. Oh, oh, oops. How did I miss that? All right. Yellow thing, don't know if you can see that. It's some of something but yeah this is kind of like the plastics you'd be thinking would happen after um things yeah so this is the kind of things that happen it slowly dissolves into smaller small bits this isn't even a very small bit this is a moderately moderate bit 
not seen anything else. Yeah, something tells me I'll probably run out of luck. So I say that I'll leave that at this beach and possibly cut to another beach like Coleroy or something. But yeah, I'll leave it here for now. So just in case this is the last of my recording, this is the Gaming Rex roaring out. One last thing on my way back to go pick up things. How, where did this come from? How did I miss this? This is not far from over there where we just started filming before. But I somehow managed to miss this. So, you know, a lighter. That just shows how irresponsible people are. Not only are they killing themselves with smoking cigarettes and whatnot, they're also polluting the ocean with toxic waste such as this. Because this, I'm probably wrong on this, but I believe it's got oils or chemicals to allow to light. Eat so for fuel. So that if that breaks out, that's going into the ocean and killing something or lots of things. So that's something else you have to just look at. No matter how disgusting it is, every bit of rubbish you pick up actually helps save thousands of marine lives. So yeah, I'll leave out this one because I've probably gone on long enough about this. Just wanted to show you one more thing before I finish up on this beach. So. As you can see, this is the beach that I was just on. But look how clean it is, all of that, just so clean. And then if you take actually um, closer examination, you start to see there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. I mean, there's so much rubbish down there that's not actually funny. And I don't think even I can clean up just by myself all of that. I'll miss a ton of stuff. Like over there, you might be able to see it. There's a plastic straw right there. Just disgusting a little bit of how sloppy people can be and I have to take a bit of the blame here because I also do um, use single-use plastics a lot even when I shouldn't but a lot of people do and unfortunately I'm just gonna have to learn how to not so I'll just sign off here at this beach and you might see me at Colorado you might not but this is the gaming racks properly roaring out.